everyone. I'm Chelsea Butler, Executive Editor of Kitchen and Bath Business Magazine. And today I am talking with Kevin Dexter, President of Fisher Pipel. Hey, Kevin. Nice hey, to see Chelsea. You. Nice to see you again. Yeah, good to see you as well. All right. So we're going to talk about some of the company and your involvement at KBiz. Um, let's first start out by you telling us how you're involved in the NKBA Student De Design Competition. Yeah, I appreciate the question. You know, we've been involved starting last year, uh, strongly involved this year and through 24. And what we love about the student design competition and the and the um, engagement there is just being able to see the world through that fresh perspective of what all that young talent brings to the party. And, you know, so for Fisher and Peichel, you know, we really are you know, part of our cultural ethos, if you will, would be around curiosity and, you know, not doing things the same way and not invented here kind of stuff. And so, you know, when, when we mash up and we get to see the world through the eyes of these young designers, for us, it's just a, you know, it's a great experience, number one, and it's a treasure trove of, of getting us that sit inside our own echo chamber once in a while in the industry to go, oh, I, I don't know why we do that, and or why wouldn't we try that, or I haven't thought about the application of this product, or put it over there, and so, again, all of that being said, we, we love the involvement and the engagement, and it continues to internally get a lot of traction for us. Yeah, I'm definitely so impressed with this year's winners. I saw the projects and it's amazing to me what what they come up with with the little they have to work with. You know, it's just like a, an idea, right? Yeah, that's the same with me, right? Because you really you you literally in some cases feel like you're giving somebody a cheese sandwich and a roadmap and saying, hey, good luck. And they come <laughs> back with these amazing things and you're like, how did that happen in a good way? Right. So yeah, it's really uh, it's really exciting to be engaged with them. That's great. And so you're going to be presenting um, the winners at, at uh, KBiz in a few weeks? Yeah, on, on the Monday night at kind of the opening ceremonies, the award show, you know, the kickoff event, uh, you know, we'll be up on stage with the ability to recognize, you know, these folks that have, have taken the time to be to, to be involved with it and, and uh, highlight some of the great projects that they've done. All right, so let's pivot over to uh, telling us what uh, Fisher and Peichel will be highlighting um, at this year's KBiz at the booth. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Chelsea, because I, I had to make a list, and I think that's a, it, that's a good thing because, you know, I've been in the industry a fair amount of years, and sometimes, you know, you can show up and feel like, oh, it's kind of, you know, more of the same stuff, but this year for us, it continues to be, as it has for the past, past couple of years, lots more new stuff, and so from a product perspective, I'd say it's things like introduction of new 24 inch combi steam ovens. And really for steam, you know, it continues to be one of the hottest, no pun intended, trends out there in cooking. And it's just because of two things. It, it allows the expertise for somebody that uses it to almost always feel like an expert in your home. And then certainly the way that it preserves and maintains the nutrients in, in your food. So, you know, we'll have a line of that that'll, that'll do pure steam, pure convection, or a combination of both. So we're excited about that. I'd say the, the second thing that we've got or we're really highlighting is some new refrigeration that's built in that has we, we, three temperature zones. And so essentially inside that cavity, you've got the ability, three different zones, each with their own temperature management system and that are independent that you can then adjust and control those environments within your within your fresh food and freezer compartment. So great there, back to the right temperature to preserve the right food, reduce waste, sustainability, all the good things that drives. Third big thing from a product perspective would be, we're known for the dish drawer. That's kind of our way that we were 20 years ago came into the market, but we know that there's a big need for us to have an expanded portfolio of more traditional dishwashers. So we'll introduce more of those in the platforms for the design community to have access to, to be able to spec into projects. True to our heritage of really focusing on sustainability, you know, they will be amongst the highest efficiency uh, dishwashers that'll be in the market. So really proud of that. And then I'd say, you know, the last big thing for us is probably an expansion of our induction cooking offering in general. So we'll have a 36 inch induction downdraft cooktop out there. And that's really at the heart of it. If you just look at the broad news these days with the whole uh, debate that's going on around gas cooking and the electrification in some cities and across the country. And, you know, the headlines are just ripping up right now on that stuff. So for us to be more embedded in another 
trend like Steam that's really taken off induction, we're, we're really happy to bring more offerings in, in, in that arena as well. So I think those are the, the big things. Somebody on my team will tell, tell me I missed two or three, but those are the big ones. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of innovation for everyone. Yeah, it really is. It really is. And, th and that's part of why I said back to the, where do the products start to, without too much mind power or too much trepidation, make somebody an expert pretty immediately in their home. And so we talk a lot in Fisher and Paykel about temperature management and how do you become the expert and the confidence to host and entertain, whether it's for your family or for a, a broader group and a social gathering. I mean, all these products will arrive around that theme of that expertise that's allowed in your home. So beyond KBiz, what, what's the company's focus moving forward? We, we have a huge focus around sustainability. That, that's one thing for us. And, and again, I like to try to sort that out in that. That's a pretty common theme across lots of industries and lots of companies. What becomes hard and challenging is what are you actually going to do about it? So when you get beyond the headline or the mission statement, what are the things that you're doing underneath? And I think the the hard thing to recognize for us is to establish what's your real baseline. And so we spent almost a year recently to go through and really understand using, you know, the protocols globally recognized through the United Nations and other areas, uh, uh, other agencies that have focus on it to, to establish a true baseline. And off that, then we're setting ourselves a goal to re from our current state to reduce our emissions by 50% or down to 50% by 2030 and down to 10% of that by 2050. So really aggressive. We're going to make the road as we go a little bit because some of the things that we'll have to do in technology and the way that we work aren't still aren't in front of us, but it's just having that focus on being great to the and give back to the planet. So does that mean that there it's that sustainability is a bigger focus on consumer minds like homeowners are thinking about that more often these days as well it is it is and you know without getting into the drawing a longer debate on you know climate change and and the impacts that it may or may not have but we do, we do see a lot of things out there as the world gets hot flat and crowded so to speak a, a term from a long time ago and you know, you see the necessity to be more conscious of the footprint that we all have in it. And so, yeah, we get that request a lot. And, and especially, I would say, as we talked about young designers, but as we evolve towards a, an emerging and a younger consumer, those types of issues are more on the minds when we get the inbound requests either directly or through our designers on, well, where do we stand and what are we going to do about it? And how do our products support that? And what are we going to do for the future? So it, it, it's going to be a continued topic for years to come. Yeah. Well, that's great news. Yeah. And then I think, you know, I think some of the other stuff, I mean, we're stay focused on technology like everybody, but back to the rather than, you know, out of this world Jetsons kind of stuff. It's like, what's the practicality in the home? So you think about experiences and using our technology through the smart HQ app to figure out how we do more guided cooking and temperature management. You think about from a sustainability energy and water management, you think about integration in a whole house through, you know, platforms like Google and Alexa and others. And then you think, you know, the, the the quiet one that's always powerful me is services and a monitoring where you as a consumer may have a product that's not performing. You just think it's the way that you interact with that product. Oh, I must not cook right. Or I'm, I'm not doing something right. When, when we're remotely able to go in and diagnose that or monitor that, we can come in and tell you, hey, Chelsea, your heating element actually isn't getting up to the temperature that's supposed to. We're sending a tech out to solve that for you and, and get you in good stead, right? So there's a lot of those things from a technology standpoint. And then I think the other thing that we're really focused on that's important to this community is just what's the resources that we have for the design community to feel confident with our product. And so, you know, whether that's the traditional trade resources through, you know, how we specs and techs, if you will, and how they get access to our product and, and the design platforms that they can engage in, but also the people and the resources that we have in place. So we have design development managers that are people in the field that work through the chapters out there and the designers to make sure that they're comfortable and understand our product. We've got two great experience centers, one in New York and one in Costa Mesa in California, where we do a lot of events and education and, you know, up to including bringing prospective clients in. So they're more familiar with it. I think, you know, broader the, our communications 
nationally and then through the chapters as far as what we're up to. So I, I think it's those basics of us just making sure that we're relevantly engaged with the community out there are, are super important to us as we continue. All right, I'll end with asking you what you're most looking forward to at KBIS 2023. Uh, you, you know, I heard this described the other day in a different format. And even though we were together in some sense in Orlando last year, I just think the physical presence and that human factor of being back together is so important, right? And it's, yeah, we there, there can still be some trepidation out there, but most people that I talk to, that that missing link to the puzzle, especially in an environment where you're talking about creativity and design and and bouncing things off each other, and and, and I think that that ideation that that's going to be great, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, and then I you know I think the other thing is just um, you know the fact that just being able to walk around and see outside our industry what other trends may affect us when we're all in the house together and 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 doing that sort of stuff. So those are my two big things. Fisher & Paykel will be showcasing its products at the Hallmark Hardwoods booth N1363 in the North Hall at KBiz 2023.